squad welcome back to the diary of Fonz. in today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys more of my mistakes and how i conquered them but before we get into this video hit that support button on your way in so you do not miss hitting it on your way out and make sure you smash that like button <laughs> okay because your girl is working hard over here. Also, remember to turn on your notifications to be notified when I upload. And if you are not new here, aw, welcome back. I love you. Now, let's get into this video. 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 <laughs> hey, loves. I'm starting this video off mixing my fragrance and essential oils to my whipped body soap and this one is called butterfly swirl and it smells so good i have two scents coming out which are cocoa pineapple bliss which is a mixture between coconut and pineapples i also have midnight blissful jasmine as well so be on the lookout for those scents because they're coming shop butterfly bliss this clip, baby, <laughs> let me tell you something. I I don't know what I was thinking, but I put way too much, okay? Way too, look at that. Just look at it. Why? Why did I do that? Uh, anyway, I ended up finding my piping bag. It's blue. You'll see it in the next clip, but it did not work with this Ziploc, and we just gonna, you know what I'm saying, make it work, make it do what it do. I couldn't find my piping bag, so I decided to use a um, Ziploc bag. Oh my gosh, that did not work. So as you continue to watch the video, you'll see that I transitioned to my reusable piping bag, which made it so much easier because for one, I'm working with soap right here. And all I had to do was flip it inside out, rinse it out, and of course double clean it, but it made it so much easier. Okay, as I stated, I put way too much product in my press and seal. So you are about to see me cut the product in half, literally, <laughs> and make it smaller in order for it to fit inside the piping bag. Then this happened. Oh my gosh. I was so annoyed at this point. But, you know, I had to regroup myself and, you know, get it together. But I ended up having to use a popsicle stick to take the piper out of the jar and scoop up the scoop up the middle because it wasn't pretty. And I just had to repipe that area, pack it down and go on about my merry own creative way. <laughs> Okay, so let me let you guys in on something really quick. I did not turn off my AC, okay? And this product was so freaking hard because sometimes I let my product sit overnight once I get done whipping it just to see how it's going to react overnight, like if it's going to solidify really hard or if it's going to stay soft that's just my personal preference okay now when I came back to it I forgot my air was on and it was so hard to pipe so I had to turn it off and later on in this video you will see that it was a hot mess because I had to turn it off I 
Okay, loves, this right here is mine. All mine, 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 mine. But that's why I have my gloves off in case you guys were wondering. But I hate wasting product. So, yes, I am a scraper. That's even if I'm baking or cooking something, I scrape everything. <laughs> Body butter time, body, body butter time, ayy, body butter time. <laughs> okay, no, for real. Y'all, this right here is a struggle. I don't know why, but when it comes to recording this process, oh my gosh, I try not to have my hand in the way, but not having it steady is a struggle. I couldn't hold it because you guys wouldn't be able to see because of my setup. But, I hope you guys get the picture. So, another mistake I made in this video was not turning my AC on in my workspace. And, my butters started to melt. So, that will explain why it looks like it's melting. But, once again, I stepped away. I turned my AC on and let it cool in my room a little bit. And, I got back to work. This was one of my favorite parts of the video and my favorite part of doing business because I love seeing the end product, knowing that I make everything myself. And it's just so amazing. Like it really is time consuming and you have to, you know, find time for yourself, but it pays off in the end and I love seeing my work. I really do. Okay, so really quick, I just wanted to let it be known that you may get extra soap because it wasn't cut clean, um, but that should be okay because it does not affect the benefits or how it works. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that at the bottom of the soap for turmeric, um, it looks kind of like rugged a little. And the reason for that is because I actually added more honey 
and essential oils and once I let them dry out on a paper towel that's how they turned out but yeah I just wanted to inform you guys of that so you won't be alarmed it's just a little extra honey and oils that's all This process is very tedious because uh, trying to get the right measurements can be very tricky and this time was the very first time I actually got it wrong <laughs> but I improvised and I used my little cutter to cut off the little extra that I needed to cut off now some jars may have a little extra sticker on there but I mean hey I'm still learning <laughs> 